Hi, I'm Laura Power, and this is Short Takes, a program about local personalities and stories. I am in the Woodstock Community Television Studio with Sion Kamara. Sion may be a familiar face around Woodstock to some of you because he has a remarkable and unexpected talent. He is a djembe fola. A djembe is an unusual handmade drum. A fola is a talented person who not just plays the djembe, but helps it to speak. Sion is originally from Guinea. He has continued to travel to Guinea every year since he moved to Woodstock almost nine years ago. Welcome, Sion. Thank you for coming into the studio today to share your talent with our viewers. Thank you, too. Later in the program, Sion will show us his djembe and another drum called a dunun, and he'll tell us about how they are made. Then he will demonstrate techniques for playing the drums. We will wind up with a short drumming concert. But before we get to the drumming, Siam will share some thoughts and photos of the village of Kuyasadia in Guinea, where he grew up. Yes. So, Siam, where were you born? I was born in Kuyasadia. And, and, and that Guinea, where in Guinea is that? Guinea, Central Guinea. Very good. And how many people live there? One, 1,200. And, and how do, how, what, what kind of structures do they live in? Or? Yeah, we have houses, traditional house. We make bricks by hands mm -hmm. from dirt and roof from grass. Uh -huh. Traditional house. So what are, what are the houses like? House, we make house in the round. People live in there, three people, four people sleeping together in one room. Mm -hmm. Room. And, uh, and are the houses together for families or? Yes. Yes. For family, for example, my family, Kamara family, we stay same area because we have uh, too many people, mm, different camera, Kwande, extra. Living here, Kwande here, camera here, Kuruma here, everyone have space. Great. Now, um, the village has a center, right? Yes. And uh, what, what is, could you describe the center? Center, every morning people can meet the mm, Good morning, because everyone not together. Um, but there's a very old tree there, right? Yes, we have a special tree. And there. how old is it? Oh my gosh, I don't know how old. <laughs> Nobody don't know now, okay. but in my village now. Um, and so you were speaking a little bit about uh, the market yes. that happens in the center. How often does that happen? Mm -hmm. Market, every Monday morning from 8 o'clock to 12, mm -hmm. we can sell food. And, and so what kinds of things are sold in the market? Any food we need to eat from rice, number one, rice. And the manioc, people don't have manioc in America, I never see here. Some, some people call cassava, mm -hmm. but we call manioc. And food, funio, peanut, any kind of food. Okay. Mm. So I understand yeah. in the village you have healers mm -hmm. also that mm -hmm. help people when they get sick. Mm -hmm. How do they do that? Uh, the government said the, the guy there, if you're getting sick, they can go to hospital. We can help you. Mm -hmm. If not good, we can go big city another, mm -hmm. another time. But you also help people out right there, correct? Mm -hmm. yes. 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 These healers. Yes. People, my village also traditional medicine, they can help people a lot. Okay. Yes. Now, does the village have electricity? No. No? No. So do, are, are people able to get any electricity? Yes. Some people have generator. Some people have panel solar, but not everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how about phones? Phones, a lot of people have phones. Cell phones? Yeah. Cell phones. Great. Yeah. How, the people of the village, how do they make their living? Oh. They're growing things? We're growing all food. 
-hmm. We don't have any business in village just grow up food. And, and uh, what would you say is your most important crop? We have also cows mm -hmm. and goat, mm -hmm. sheep. Mm -hmm. But food, we start mm, number one in rice. 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 So you have no police in the village? No. And so how do you keep order? Mm -hmm. For example, if people doing bad things, Government sent somebody in my village. Mm -hmm. They think, take care of everybody. If you do something not good, chef of village, they can call everybody. We can sit someplace like Santa the village. Mm -hmm. What do you do that? Don't do that again. He said, okay, I'm so sorry, I don't do that again. Okay. We like that. So the chief calls chief all the families together? Yes. And then you decide what to do about that person's Yes, if you fight um, people, the sh shift, take care of everybody. Okay, mm -hmm. good. In the last couple of years, yes. there have been some efforts to help your village yes. through the drumming community mm -hmm. and through the local community here mm -hmm. in Woodstock. Mm -hmm. So what kinds of things have you been able to do in the village as a result of that? Mm -hmm. We, for example, if I play performance somewhere, mm -hmm. Who my class, who teaching, mm -hmm. we can tell people about my my village, drum community about my village to help. You put in a well. Yes, we made mon money from well and made money from motorcycle. All done now. Mm -hmm. Right now, just West Bank. The Rice Bank. Rice Bank. So you've uh, you've put in a well. Yes. You've bought a medical motorcycle so yeah. that the doctor can yes. uh, go fetch one. medicines. Exactly, yeah. Uh, and you've worked on a rice bank. Yes. And you're working on making a building for the rice bank. Yes. Right. That's now. So a number of good things have happened. Yeah, very good. Then. Great. Yeah, very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Sion, mm. before we look at your drums, yes. please tell us why the drumming is so special to you. Yes. Drum is really, really special for me because drum changed my life and also my village. Drum help a lot of people. Have people been hungry, like children? My village, chef of village can come of me. Sayo, where were you? I said, I'm here. Can you play drum today? Because time right now we don't have much, much food. Children make children happy. I can take drum to play drumming. People, children dancing, dancing, and laughing, laughing. If they're tired, they can go sleep. Next morning, parents can find food for them. And also, all the young boys of my village, they help me put my garden and help my garden about plant food. Excellent. So, Sion, mm -hmm. why is the drumming important outside of the village? Yes, drum very, very important outside the village. For example, I'm here today. When I came here, I don't know anybody. But when I start playing drumming, drum make people good connection because people like music, some people. I turn around from here to go Japan and everywhere. Drum community very, very strong, make good life. Some people meet in marriage. Some people meet being a good family. Drum don't have border. We can go everywhere, make people happy and a good connection for people. Very good. That's why I like drumming. Very good. So, Sion, this is the djembe? Yes. And uh, who made it? This made it. The guy who made it for my village, mm -hmm. his black snakes. Ah, and, and how does he make it? They make this from hands, tools, mm -hmm. from the tree. From a tree? Yes. And then uh, what, what is this up here? This one uh, skin is 
goat skin. It's a goat skin. Goat skin. And it's stretched across this hollowed out yes. tree? Yes. And then it's tightened with these um, strings? These strings from here to Europe. But first time we use also this skin make like this. Mm -hmm. Strings. But now we have this which we change. Okay. Yeah. But goat skin wood and a little metal inside here metal here two metal 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 before we fix the drum okay yeah metal inside here one also on top two two metal bands one here uh-huh all three metal okay make drum strings okay yeah, very good all this from three by hands okay yeah, hands yeah and uh, we also have back here another type of drum. Yes. Correct? Yes. And this is called a dunun? Dunun. This is the dunun back this, here? This one. And is this handmade as well? Yes. And handmade is it all? Is it made in a similar way? The yes. hollowed out tree? Yes. And the goat skin? This one, cow skin. Cow skin? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And does it have the metal bands they also? Have me also, same. Uh huh. And metal the here. They have four metal. Uh huh. One, two, and three, four. This three, but do not have four because two head. Okay. Yeah, you may have one head. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Could, Cyan, could you could you show us how different the two drums sound? Yes. Okay. You want to give us a little? Okay. Gimbe. We have three songs. Gimbe. Mm hmm. Three song, first song, second, third. Ah, okay. So yeah. And how about the uh, the dunun? Dunun. Bass. Melody. Time. Okay. Now, in a performance, yes. the, you would play these drums together, yes, right? Yes, yes. And, and why is that? Why play all these drums together? We play these four drums together, make good melody. Okay. Yimbe play, Yimbe have another song, but a song going straight with Dunu and Samba and Kenkeni. We working together. Make people listen very good melody. Okay. Yeah, from top here and here, here. Okay. Yes. And are there particular techniques that you use to play this uh, djembe? Yes, we and have technique. And what are what are the? Could you just show us the, what the techniques are? Yeah, technique song. I said three song, right? Mm hmm Well, now I'm going to make three song. You can see me. Okay. Is it easy to learn to play the djembe? Yes, if you practice. Okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll uh -huh. see that in because a little while. I've been playing drum a long time, mm -hmm. but I practice. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And how long did it take you to become skilled at playing the djembe? Oh my God, long. <laughs> uh, people different. Mm -hmm. I teach a lot of people, people different. Some people, have long drum very quickly. Some people long. Mm -hmm. Depend. It depends. So could you tell us some of the places you've been to perform with your drums? Yes. I've been perform drum in China, Japan, Canada, America, Africa. So you've seen the world? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. You brought another drummer with you. Yes. We have uh, Grant Ellerbeck. Yes. Who is your student. Yes. And a teacher of Guinean music yes. also. Yes. Could we have a short performance? Yes. And what will you play for us? We are going to play music called Numu. And so this is N-U-M-U, -U, Numu? Numu. 
Uh huh. And and what is meaningful about this okay. uh, song? Numu family made all tools. Yembe Numu made it. Oh, Numu is a family name. Black Smith. Ah, Black Smith. Yes. I see. Uh huh. And my and these are the people that make the drums. Yes. Ah, like okay. Me, my family. Okay. Uh huh. I make drumming by my hands, possibly because my father did that. Uh huh. That's why we need to play no more today. Okay. The, yeah. And and so this piece is important to you because of that, because it honors the people that make the drums. Yes. Yes. Fabulous. Yeah. Okay. I well, like it. we will we'll look forward to that. Uh huh. This guy called Grant. When I came here from Africa. I met him. He's a very good drumming. Nine, almost nine years now, I've been playing drum in here, America. But every Tuesday, he come and take lesson with me, class with me, long. But now he know everything, all the music I play from my village, from my big city to play here. He know everything. He make me good feeling about drum here. That's why we are here today, guys, to show you something about my country, my culture, drumming, player. Thank you, guys. Thanks so much, Sion Camara, Jembafola Extraordinaire, and Grant Ellerbeck for being with us at the Woodstock Community Television Studio. If you are interested in learning more about Sion, look for his website address in the closing credits of this program. I'm Laura Power, and this has been Short Takes, a program about local personalities and stories. <laughs>